Hello, and welcome to the next video to support response to the Annual Integrated Economic Survey, the AIES. In this video, I will provide an overview of Step 3 of the survey, providing more detailed data, using a customized, downloadable spreadsheet. At this point in the survey, you'll be given a choice on how to provide more detailed data about your company. You can choose to use an online survey spreadsheet to enter your response. This spreadsheet is not downloaded to your computer, it's generated online. There's more information about this method of response in another video in this series. You can also choose to download a customized response spreadsheet to your computer. You will enter your answers into that spreadsheet and then upload the completed spreadsheet back to the survey. This video will cover more information about the downloadable spreadsheet. The downloadable spreadsheet response method has some pros and cons to consider. On the one hand, you will not have to download anything to your computer if you use the online spreadsheet. This could be particularly helpful if your company has extensive firewalls or prohibitions against downloads. On the other hand, the online spreadsheet may not perform well within your company's browser settings. This could be particularly challenging if you're using a lower speed or sporadic internet connection. Likewise, the downloaded spreadsheet will include all of the features of whatever software your company uses to open these types of files. But note that some of the formatting may be off due to differences in which program you use. This could be particularly challenging if your company is using open source software to handle Excel or CSV files. At the same time, the online spreadsheet does not have many of the same features as proprietary software does, so it may be challenging to navigate, especially if you have many locations. If you select to use the download response spreadsheet, click the start button on the right side of this screen. This is the screen where you'll download your customized response spreadsheet. Click on the download button and then access the folder where your downloaded materials are saved to open the spreadsheet. You will return to the screen to upload your spreadsheet once it's completed. This is the downloadable response spreadsheet for my fictional company. There are several tabs across the bottom, including an instructions tab that gives additional information, the detailed data tab containing most of the questions for this survey, and the product data tab that asks about revenues for specific products, but is not asked of all companies, Let's investigate the Detailed Data tab now. Here on the left, you can see the locations that make up this company. Note that the updates from Step 1 are reflected in the list. Along the top, in each of the columns, we've listed the questions. You can see additional information about each question. Note that the first row contains the general topic of the question. The second row lists the specific topic of the question. The third row contains the question text. The fourth row includes additional information for response. The fifth row tells you what value to enter into the cell and the sixth row contains a shortened variable name for the question. Note that you may need to click and drag the formula bar at the top to see the additional information in its entirety. Here we encounter questions that are grayed out. These questions do not require response for that specific location. You should not enter data into grayed out cells. These cells are locked. You can filter your list of establishments by name, address, city, state, zip code, or response to any of the survey questions. Here, I'll filter my locations to show only those located in Ohio. And I'll click the same button and select Select All to clear the filter. You can copy and paste data between cells by clicking in a cell, holding down the Control button and the letter C button on your keyboard, then clicking in an empty cell, and holding down the Control button and the letter V button on your keyboard. You can also autofill information by clicking in the lower right-hand corner and dragging the value down. Some questions should be answered for each location. Others are answered for groups of locations based on what they do or make. This company makes or does more than one type of thing, and so it has more than one kind of activity unit, or KAU. KAUs are groups of locations that do or make the same thing. You can easily identify KAUs in your spreadsheet because they do not have a corresponding name or address information in the rows. You can also look at column A, the ID column. Those that begin with a three are KAUs. In this case, this company has five KAUs. But how do we know which locations go with which KAU? To determine this, first filter on the primary business or activity description column, column K. Here, we will select locations for the industry 561320, 
temporary help services. Now you can see that there are two locations that make up this one KAU. In those places where we need to provide data at the KAU, it's the sum of these locations. For some more complex companies, you may filter on industry and see more than one KAU listed. In these cases, you need to filter on additional information. Please reference the Instructions tab for more information on that. One unique feature of the AIES is that it collects information at three levels. We have already provided the company level information. That was in step two. Now we're being asked to provide information at the establishment level or locations, or at the KAU level or groups of locations. If we scroll through this company spreadsheet, we'll see that most information is requested at the KAU level, but it's dependent upon what that company does or makes. You can see that most questions are grayed out at the location level and are collecting information at the KAU level. Once you have answered all of the questions in the spreadsheet, you will save it to your computer drive and you will upload it back into the survey. First, click on the Browse button. Point to your completed spreadsheet and then click Open. Click the Upload button. You can see that the file is now listed on your screen, along with the day and time that you uploaded it. Click Save and Continue. You will be taken to the online spreadsheet. Here you will click Run Checks to check your data. You can see that the error checking has identified issues with my response. I can click on the Fix text on the left to be taken to the issue in the online spreadsheet. You can choose to correct the issue in the online spreadsheet, or you can reopen your saved spreadsheet, update the data and save the file, and then re-upload the file to this survey. You cannot submit your responses until you fix all of the outstanding errors. Once you're ready, click Save and Continue. Next, you will go to a Remarks screen where you can add any additional information you think would be helpful as we review your responses. Click Save and Continue to continue through the survey. This is the final screen for the survey. Here, you will fill in your contact information in case we have any questions or need to follow up with you. We are also asking you to estimate the amount of time it took you overall to complete this survey. From here, you'll click Save and Continue. And here, you'll click Submit. The next screen signifies that you have met your reporting obligations to the Annual Integrated Economic Survey. Thank you. This concludes this response support video. For more information on the AIES, please visit our website at census.gov AIES. For additional help completing the AIES, please call our help desk at 1-800-681-3012. Thank you for your time and attention.